Hello friends. So this video we are going to see a pentagonal plummy solid problem. Projection of solids. So here we can see the question. A right pentagonal pyramid of side 30 mm and altitude. Altitude means the height. The height is 60 mm. So here the dimensions are given. 30 mm base and height is 60 mm. Here it is given as pentagonal pyramid. Pentagon means it is ha it has five sides and pyramid means it has one base and one top apex point. So this is we have we need to understand. This is a dimension given. So now where it is resting on? So it rests on one of its edges on the base. So where it is resting? It is resting on the HP. So if, with what it is resting? It is resting with one of its base edge, its edges on the base. So where it is resting with what it is resting? So answer is given. The base is being tilted up such that the apex is 50 mm above HP. So here this is the question. They have not given the angle but they have given other, another one clue for it. Here how it is resting? So this is the answer for it. Draw the projection of the pyramid when the edges on which it is resting is perpendicular to VP. So this is another one, one more clue. When the edge, a edge on which it is resting is perpendicular to VP. So before that, we can draw the XY line like this. We can draw the X, rough diagram XY, VP and HP. So here it is said that the resting edge is perpendicular to VP. So this is perpendicular to VP we have drawn. Next we can identify the other points of the pentagon by using the engineering template. Now we can also identify the midpoint. So here, here this will be the apex point A, B, C, D, E. So we got it like this. And we can draw the altitude and we can connect it. Like this way we can connect it. So here this will be the O dash and this is A dash, B dash, C dash. Again here D dash within bracket and E dash within bracket. We got it. Now here it is a dash, it is resting with one of the base edge. This is the resting base edge. Right. So here it is resting on HP. This is also clear. And the dimensions, this is 30 mm and the altitude is 70 mm. This is 60 mm. This is also clear. Then it is given as the base is being tilted sub such that the apex is 50 mm. So look at here. Uh, here it is given as pentagon. So here I am having the hexagon pyramid. So here this is the resting edge. You can consider this is the resting edge. Now it is resting. Normally it will be resting like this. Now what happened? Now it is being tilted. But here in this problem they have not given any angle. Instead of giving the angle, this is the apex point. How this has been tilted is this is tilted like this. And the distance from the ground, this distance from the ground and the apex. Look at here. This will be the, sorry, okay, the distance between, this is the apex and this is the ground. The distance between the ground and the apex will be what? 50 mm. So like that we need to draw. So for understanding I have given like this. Now what we need to do it is, we have to fix a point. This will be the A dash, E dash within bracket. So this is the point. Now from here, Take a 50 mm of locus, draw a 50 mm of 50 mm, above 50 mm, draw a lengthy locus like this, right. From this point, just you need, what you need to do is, you just keep this point as the center and this distance as radius, you measure this and keeping this as the center with the same measurement, you can make the arc like this. So this is what, this is O dash, now we can connect it to these two. Okay, now we got this line in here. Okay, next what we need to do, just measure this one, just measure A and C, you can make an arc like this. Okay, now from O, you can measure the C one, from O, the same, the same measurement, I just made it like this. Now we got the triangle, the same triangle, I got it, in, 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 in between distance also, I can able to measure it. So now I can draw the same pentagonal pyramid here. I can also give the name B dash, C dash, D dash and this is O1 dash, everything is 1 1. Right, now I can easily project all the vertical lines like this, I can make it. 
So this is the simplest way. This is O, O1, and where the A is, this is A, B, C, R, D, again E. Now I can join all the outer edges. So this will be the hidden points. Also join this. So this is a way of proceeding this problem. So now we can go to the problem here. Uh, instead of giving the apex is 50 mm height, they can also give the base. This base height also they can able to give. In some of the question, they can also give what? This base height. So like the other, like this also we can try it the sum. Okay. Next we can go to the problem. First, what we need to do? We have to draw the xy line neatly. I have drawn the xy line like this. This is y, vp, and hp, and this is x. I have drawn like this. Now I fix a point here. I just draw. Find out the 90 degree. Because it is perpendicular to VP. One of these already we know it. So now by here I will be finding out the 30 mm of length of line. So here the 30 mm. Length of line I just drawn. Now I am going to take the engineering template. So here the engineering template is there. This is 30 mm. For this 30 mm, I'm just going to fix the coordinates. Now one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 1, 2, 3 already is there, then the midpoint. Just I can fix all the points like this. Since this is a pyramid, so I need to join the center axis point also. This will be the slanting lines of the pyramid. While seeing from the top, you can able to see the apex point also and also the slanting lines. Here you can give the name, it is A, B, C, D, E and this is O. Now what I am going to do, I am just going to connect everything, every with the X, Y. Like this I will be connecting it. So here it is given as 60 mm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I just made it like this. For this line alone, I just made the lengthy one. Here we got it. This is the line. Now we can also join this. We can join the base also. Already there is a line, you can talk it. Now I can give the name while seeing from this side, I can able to see A, B, C. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash. Again here, D dash within bracket and E dash within bracket and above O dash will be there available. Okay. So now I am going to fix any one of the point here as we know earlier. So this is A, da A one dash and E one dash. So the point we have fixed. Now what I am going to do is, just I am going to mark a 50 mm above line here. I am just going to mark 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the line. Now I am going to draw a locus. That means a parallel line to this xy line. I am going to draw it. Just draw a thin line here. I just drawn a thin line. Now what I am going to do is take your compass, take your compass, keeping this as a center and this distance as radius, measure this distance, 
I'm keeping this as a center and with the same measurement, I'm just going to make a mark like this, arc like this. It is not clear. I'll draw it again. This is the arc. I made it. Now, I'm just going to measure this distance also. This distance, I'm keeping this center. Here also, I will make the arc approximate. Now, keeping this O as the center, I am just going to make the measurement of OC. Now, here I can mark it. Now, you can join all the points. This is one. Right. Again, I will be finding out the in between points. This is AB is here, and this midpoint axis line is here. Now I can also join. these lines. Now I can give the name, uh, this is B dash, D dash within bracket and this is C dash and this is O dash. Everything is 1, 1, 1. I just give them all the names, right. Now we got the tilted surface, a tilted solid. So what we need to do as the previous one, what we have done, just draw all the horizontal lines like this, projection line. Just project it horizontally here with a thin line now draw the vertical lines Now we can find out all the coinciding points. This is O and here the O is. The, this both will be coinciding at this O1. Where the A is, this is A and this is A1. This is B and this is B1. C is here, C1. And again D is D1 here. Then E, E1. So now as I told all, already, you can join all the outer edges continuously. Gently you can join all the outer edges. Don't worry about anything. Gently you can join all the outer edges. Again, after that we can find what are the continuous line and what are the hidden lines. Okay, while seeing from, uh, from the top, while seeing from the top, this is the top direction. Uh, you can able to see this OC. Where the OC is, this is OC. You can able to see. So you can draw with a continuous line, like this you can draw. Next, can you able to see the bottom surface from the top? No. So here you can make it as a hidden line. And this also, you can join it by the hidden line. Okay, this is a way of proceeding the problem. Next, you can also make the dimensions. This is what's here, this is 30. And the altitude is 60. 60. So here they have not given any angle. Instead of that, here they have given us this height is 50. So here you can write it as all dimensions are in millimeter. You can here write it as all dimensions are in millimeter. So this is a way of proceeding the problem. Thank you.